Hey guys, welcome back. I've got this emergency hand crank charger today which I'm going to review. This sells for about two and a half dollars on gearbest.com and is supposed to charge your phone simply by spinning the lever like this. So this is how it looks like. This is exactly how I received it. There was no box, no other packaging except for the shipping parcel. Uh, it has a small lanyard hanging from it and there's a lever tucked into the side which comes out like this. There's a USB port on the top alongside a red LED. So when I spin the lever clockwise, it starts pushing out power and the LED will light up. Turning the lever the other way has no effect. I want to know what all phones can it charge. So I've got my whole arsenal on the table. This is the bottom of the line, an Alcatel One Touch. Uh, the best feature it has is an FM radio. Next is a Nokia C230, a little more advanced with a nice big color display. A Nokia X, the first Nokia Android phone and one of my least favorite phones. An iPhone 6, an Elephone C1 Max phablet and an iPad mini. Additionally, I've also got some other devices like an action camera and a cheap Bluetooth speaker. Let's start from the bottom. Alcatel. So I'll go ahead and grab my phone, insert the USB cable on both ends and then start spinning the lever. Alright, it seems like it's charging. Nokia C230. Again, charging successfully. Nokia X. This seems to be charging as well. You can see a small switch icon will appear on the battery. Or let me go into the settings and uh, show it to you there again. Here you can see it is not charging and as soon as I start spinning the lever it says charging. iPhone 6 doesn't charge. Elephone C1 Max phablet. It is not doing anything. But if I press the power button and the screen lights up, you can see the battery icon is indicating our charger is connected. When I start spinning the lever, a lightning icon will appear on the battery. It means uh, it is somewhat charging, but there isn't enough current. And finally, iPad. Not charging as well as I had expected. Let's move to the other devices and then I'll tell you why it's not charging all of them. Action camera. Charging successfully. As you can see, the red light immediately lights up when I start spinning the lever. And the Bluetooth speaker charging as well. There's a small red light just next to the USB port, which you can see it lights up when I start charging. So this is also working. Okay, so why isn't it charging all the devices? After all, all these devices require 5 volts and this charger is putting out 5 volts. Otherwise, none of them would charge. Well, the reason is the current. If you pick up any iPhone or any smartphone charger, you will see the output from the charger will be 5 volts and 1 ampere current. That means it requires 5 volts and 1 amp of steady current to charge properly. This charger is putting out 5 volts and a maximum of 600 milliamp. That's 400 milliamps below the required current. That is why it is charging the smaller phones, but not the bigger ones. Even the big phablet which is showing it is charging, it is most probably just ruining the battery. According to me, it is an excellent tool for emergency if you are using a small phone. If not, you can carry it in your car or a camping backpack along with a cheap and small phone. If you run into a situation, you can always pull it out to make that call. And not only that, as you saw, you can also give your camera or speaker that extra couple of minutes that matter. From my side, it gets a MyBooth rating of 6.5 out of 10. Let me know what you think and would you ever buy it. I've left a link for it in the description below in case you want to check it out. A quick reminder before I leave, the 3 bonus giveaways are still open. Watch the video showing on the screen right now with the 3 boxes in the thumbnail for a chance to win. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Facebook and other social media. The links to all of them are in the description below. As always, Thanks for watching.